Obviously, this is something you already know, but Palm Sunday is the celebration of the triumphant entry of Jesus Christ into Jerusalem, the place where he will be crucified. Also known as Passion Sunday, Palm Sunday is the beginning of Holy Week and the holiest week in Christendom, in which Christians celebrate the most, in the most intense way the moments of the Passion, Death and Resurrection of Jesus Christ. The Holy Week liturgies are deeply steeped in symbolism. Palm Sunday is the Sunday of the year, the first Sunday shall we say, during the worship where we listen to a full account of the Passion, Death and Resurrection of Jesus Christ. The other time is on Good Friday. Very colorful pictures we are getting here in the Vatican Square very well decorated as usual In the procession today, we're celebrating with the Holy Father are uh, some cardinals and bishops, senior officials of the church here in the Vatican. You know, 30 cardinals, 25 bishops, 325 priests. The procession, in the procession, we have deacons, acolytes, lectors, candle bearers, cross bearer. Each has a specific role to play in the liturgy of today. And in the procession, we wave the palms, as you can see, the palm branches of fronds in the hands, as did those people in the city of Jerusalem when our Lord entered the city of Jerusalem. So traditionally, the liturgy of Palm Sunday begins with a procession commemorating the Lord's entry into Jerusalem. The procession helps the faithful to enter more concretely into the mystery that we celebrate liturgically during, pa pa uh, during Holy Week. We remember that Jesus made his way through the gates of Jerusalem. As he made his way through the gates of Jerusalem, a throng of followers carpeted his path with palm branches and they laid down their cloaks amidst jubilation and procession. They sang Hosanna, the son of David, as we do today. So the procession almost there at the obelisk that you find in the Vatican Square where the palm branches will be blessed and the choir continues to sing Hosanna to the son of David, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, the King of Israel, Hosanna in the highest. It's taken from Matthew chapter 21 verse 9.
En el nombre del Padre, del Filho y del Espíritu Santo. Amén. La pace sea con vos. Dear brothers and sisters, since the beginning of Lent until now, we have prepared our hearts by penance and charitable works. Today we gather together to herald with the whole church the beginning of the celebration of our Lord's Paschal mystery, that is to say, of his passion and resurrection for it was to accomplish this mystery that he entered into his own city of Jerusalem. Therefore, with all the faith and devotion, let us commemorate the Lord's entry into the city for our salvation following following in his footsteps so that being made by grace we can partake in the cross we have to share in the resurrection in this life the Holy Father now blessing the palms Almighty God sanctify these branches with your blessing that we who follow Christ the King in exaltation may reach the eternal Jerusalem through him who lives and reigns forever and ever. And now we prepare to listen to the gospel uh, which will be proclaimed. Everybody carrying in their hands palm branches, palm fronds, as did the people who welcomed Jesus in the city of Jerusalem. So the book of the gospel which will be read by the deacon. The Holy Father having uh, blessed the palms is now blessing the incense. the incense being prepared to incense the gospel which will be read shortly. It is a lovely day here in the Vatican, weather not too cold, and I think it is pleasant to be out there. As we can see, a very, very colorful St. Peter's Square here in the Vatican. What you are seeing now on your television screens is the deacon who is going to proclaim the Gospel of Palm Sunday. And the Gospel reading is from Luke chapter 19. When they approached Jerusalem, in sight of Bethage and Bethany, 
close by the Mount of the Olives, Jesus sent two of his disciples and said to them, Go to the village facing you, and as soon as you enter it, you will find a tethered colt that no one has yet ridden. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks you, what are you doing? Say to them, the master needs it and will send it back here directly. They went off and found a cord tethered near a door in the open street. As they untied it, some men standing there said, What are you doing untying the colt? They gave the answer Jesus had told them. The men let them go. Then they took the colt to Jesus and they threw clocks on its back and he sat on it. Many people spread their clocks on the road, others greenery which they had cut in the fields. And those who went in front and those who followed were all shouting Hosanna, blessings on him who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessings on the coming kingdom of our father David. Hosanna in the highest heavens. The Gospel of the Lord. And do pardon me, I did say that the reading was from chapter from Luke, but actually it's from Mark. Dear brothers, like the crowds who acclaim Jesus in Jerusalem, let us go forth in peace. An invitation from the deacon for us to go in procession. And now the procession will make its way right up to where the Holy Father is, uh, the main stage, the Sagrada, where the Eucharist will take place. And I think in many parishes, in many Catholic institutions, Christian institutions even, uh, you will see many processions today wherever you are. The choir is chanting Psalm 23, verse 1 to 5. The children of the Hebrews, bearing olive branches, went forth to meet the Lord, crying out and saying, Hosanna in the highest.
we would like to extend special warm welcome to television viewers who just joined us through the Eurovision and Mondo Vision channels and Father Paul Samasumo on behalf of Vatican Media. Welcome to the live broadcast of Palm Sunday of the Lord's Passion presided over by the Holy Father Pope Francis here in the Vatican's Peter's St. Peter's Square. With Palm Sunday we enter into the most solemn week of the church's calendar that is Holy Week, which will culminate in Easter Sunday.
So what you are listening to there is the entrance song, Glory, Praise and Honor. Be the King Christ the Redeemer when the child of God promised the Holy Hosanna. Shortly, the Holy Father will lead us into the opening of the Eucharist with the opening prayer. Let us pray. Almighty, the living God, who is an example of humanity for human race, for the human race to follow, caused our Savior to take flesh and submit to the cross. Graciously grant that we may heed to his lesson of patient suffering and so merit a share in his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unit of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. We now enter into the liturgy of the word, where we will listen to the first reading, the second reading, and the proclamation of the gospel. Today we have the proclamation of the passion of our Lord. The first reading from the book of Isaiah. The Lord has given me a disciple's tongue so that I may know how to reply to the wearied. He provides me with speech. Each morning, he walks me to hear, to listen like a disciple. The Lord has opened my ear. For my part, I make no resistance, neither did I turn away. I offered my back to those who struck me, my cheek to those who tore at my beard. I did not cover my face against those who insulted and against insult and spit room. The Lord comes to my help so that I am untouched by the insult. So too, I set my face like flint. I know I shall not be shamed. The word of the Lord. And now the responsorial psalm from Psalm 21. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Bye. 
fanno beffe di me quelli che mi vedono. Storcono le labbra, scuotono il capo. Si rivolga al Signore, Lui lo liberi. Lo porti in salvo se davvero lo ama. di cani mi circonda, mi accerchia una banda di malfattori, hanno scavato le mie mani e i miei piedi, posso contare tutte le mie ossa. Annuncerò il tuo nome ai miei fratelli, ti loderò in mezzo all'assemblea. Lodate il Signore, voi suoi fedeli, gli dia gloria a tutta la discendenza di Giacobbe. Lo tema tutta la discendenza di Israele. Responsorial Psalm, after the first reading, My God, My God, A reading from the why have you forsaken me? The, the second reading from the book of Philippians. His state was divine, yet Christ Jesus did not cling to his equality with God, but emptied himself to assume the condition of a slave, and became as men are, and being as all men are, he was humbler yet, even to accepting death, death on a cross. But God raised him high and gave him the name which is above all other names, so that all beings in the heavens, on earth, and in the underworld should bend the knee at the name of Jesus and that every tongue should acclaim Jesus Christ as Lord, to the glory of God the Father. And now the choir will lead us into acclamation before the gospel as we prepare to listen to a narrative of the Lord's Passion.
the passion of our Lord Jesus Christ will soon be proclaimed. It will be proclaimed without the usual candles, without incense, and there is no greetings as is usually done before the gospel. Passione di nostro Signore Gesù Cristo, secondo Mark. The Passion of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. First thing in the morning, the chief priest together with the elders and scribes, in short the whole Sinehadrin, Sinehadrin had their plan ready. They had Jesus bound and took him away and handed him over to Pilate. Pilate questioned him, Are you the king of the Jews? He answered, It is you who say it. And the chief priests brought many accusations against him. Pilate questioned him again. Have you no reply at all? See how many accusations they are bringing against you. But to Pilate, Pilate's amazement, Jesus made no further reply. At festival time, Pilate used to release a prisoner for them, anyone they asked for. Now, a man called Barabbas was there in prison with the rioters who had committed murder during the uprising. When the crowd went up and began to ask Pilate the customary favor, Pilate answered them, Do you want me to release for you the king of the Jews? For he realized it was out of jealousy that the chief priests had handed Jesus over. The chief priest, however, had incited the crowd to demand that he should release Barabbas for them instead. Then Pilate spoke again. But in that case, he said, what am I to do with the man you call king of the Jews? They shouted back, Crucify him. Why, Pilate asked them, what harm has he done? But they shouted all the louder, Crucify him. Crucify him. 
So Pilate, anxious to placate the crowd, released Barabbas for them, and having ordered Jesus to be scourged, handed him over to be crucified. The soldiers led him away to the inner part of the palace, that is the praetorium, and called the whole cohort together. They dressed him in purple, twisted some thorns in a crown, and put it on him. Then they began saluting him. Hail, King of the Jews! They struck his head with a reed and spat on him. And they went down on their knees, on their knees to do him homage. And when they had finished making fun of him, they took off their pe the purple and dressed him in his own clothes. They led him out to crucify him. They enlisted a passerby, Simon of Cyrene, father of Alexander and Rufus, who was coming in from the countryside to carry his cross. They brought Jesus to the place called Golgotha, which means the place of the skull. They offered him wine offered with myrrh, but he refused it. Then they crucified him and shared his clothes, casting lots to decide what each should get. It was the third hour when they crucified him. The inscription giving the charge against him read, The King of the Jews. And they crucified two robbers with him, one on his right and one on his left. The passers-by jeered at him, they, sh they, sh they shook their hands and heads and said, Aha, so you will destroy the temple and rebuild it in three days? Then save yourself, come down from the cross. The chief priests and the scribes mocked him among themselves in the same way. He saved others, they said. He cannot save himself. Let the Christ King of Israel come down from the cross now for us to see and believe. Even those who were crucified with him taunted him. When the sixth hour came, there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour. And at the ninth hour, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani. Lama sabachthani. 
which means, My God, my God, why have you deserted me? When some of those who stood by heard this, they said, Listen, he is calling on Elijah. Someone ran and soaked a sponge in vinegar and putting it on a reed, gave it to him to drink, saying, Wait and see if Elijah will come to take him down. But Jesus gave a loud cry and breathed his last. At this point, all kneel and pause for a short time. We kneel in silent prayer. Prayer and reverence are the only response that we can make at this moment of Christ's death. And the veil of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. The centurion who was standing in front of him and had seen how he had died said, In truth, this man was the Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. So we just listened to a dramatic presentation of the Passion of our Lord Jesus Christ. And after the Gospel, we now prepare ourselves to listen to a homily from the Holy Father who is going to give us his reflection. Get ready for Pope Francis to speak to us any time now, giving the homily after that very well taken dramatic presentation of the Lord's Passion here in St. Peter's Square. So far, estimates are 25,000 people in the square at this Palm Sunday Eucharist. So there are still people still making their way into the square for, for the celebration. Look forward to a very intense week of Holy Week. Palm Sun uh, after Palm Sunday follows Holy Thursday, and in between there is the Christmas that will be presided over by the Holy Father, where he will bless all the oils that are used, the oil of the sick, the catechumen, and net, and also chrism oil. And then we have uh, the Good Friday liturgies, and after that we will have the Holy, the Easter Vigil uh, Mass on Saturday night, and. Uh, 
sponsored by Easter Sunday. Very solemn occasion here indeed in uh, St. Peter's Square, where many have gathered to witness the start of Holy Week. can hear the Sistine Choir leading us into the Creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. Uh, 
Brothers and sisters, as we contemplate the mystery of the Lord's Passion, let us press before the merciful Father, gaze the whole of humanity with its weaknesses, suffering, and poverty. The Holy Father now opening time for the universal prayers, sometimes known as prayers of the faithful. And the first prayer will be in Chinese. For the whole church of God, as she follows the Lord in the Paschal mystery that gathered round the cross of Christ, she may always see uni seek unity, reconciliation, and communion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear us. And now in French. For all government leaders called to cultivate peace and the good of the people, that they may confront and resolve all conflicts by the art of reciprocity and dialogue, as well as mutual respect. In Polish language, for those who suffer and experience loneliness and abandonment that they may feel the closeness of the servant of the Lord who grants consolation and hope amid every sorrow. And in German language, for all Christians who experience persecution and are united in a particular way to the passion of the Son of God, that from Christ's sacrifice of love, they may draw strength, patience, and perseverance. And now in Nigerian language, Yoruba, for each Christian community, as it journeys while Christ, with Christ towards Easter, that in obedience to the gospel, it may bear witness to its faith in prayer and charity. Father, hear and answer our prayers. In your mercy, make us disciples of your Son and living signs of his love, who lives and reigns forever and ever. So we just had the creed and then the bidding prayers, prayers of the faithful. And now we prepare ourselves to enter into offertory, the time of offertory, gifts of bread and wine, which will be brought to the Holy Father to bless, and they'll be offered at the altar. We prepare ourselves to enter into this moment of the Eucharist, so that we too can present ourselves before God as we see the family is there presenting the bread and wine to the Holy Father. May the bread and wine transform us also to become more Christ-like. Those of you joining us just now, we are celebrating Palm Sunday in St. Peter's Square. That's the Eucharist of the Palm Sunday. Palm Sunday. Is closely related to the Passion of Christ. We did read the proclamation of the Passion of Christ earlier on.
you probably were wondering at after the proclamation of the gospel the holy father did didn't uh preach he didn't say his homily so at a later stage i'm sure we will get uh, an explanation for that So we just uh, seen Cla uh, Cardinal Claudio Gugerotti. He is the prefect of the dicastery for the Oriental Churches, incensing uh, the altar. And now the deacon is incensing the cardinal, and shortly will incense the congregation as well. As the Rikuan incenses the congregation here in the square, the incense reminds us that we too are God's holy people and we are a holy temple, the image of Christ, worth incensing as well. Pray, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of, the, of his name, for our God and the good of all his holy church. So the first concelebrant there at the altar, Cardinal Claude Claudio Bugerotti, Prefect of the Dicastery for the Oriental Churches, leading us in this part of the Eucharist. Through the passion of, our only of your only begotten Son, O oh Lord, our recon may our reconciliation with you be near at hand, so that, we do so that though we do not merit it by our own deeds, yet by the sacrifice made by, all, by you once for all, we may feel already the effects of this mercy. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. It is truly our duty, right, right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal, through Christ our Lord. For though innocent, he suffered willing, willingly for sinners and accepted unjust condemnation 
to serve the guilty. His death has washed away our sins, and his resurrection has purchased our justification. And so, with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. The choir now, the Sistine Choir, Sistine Chapel Choir, leads us in singing the Sanctus, Holy, Holy, Lord God of Hosts. Veramente santo sei tuo, Padre, ed è giusto che ogni creatura ti lodi. Per mezzo del tuo figlio, il Signore So this is the part of the Eucharistic prayer. And Cardinal Claudio is taking the Eucharistic prayer number three, which you will find in your weekday or Sunday Missal. Torno a te un popolo che dall'Oriente all'Occidente offra al tuo nome il sacrificio perfetto. Ti preghiamo umilmente, santifica e consacra con il tuo spirito i doni che ti abbiamo presentato, perché diventino il corpo e il sangue del tuo Figlio, il Signore nostro Gesù Cristo, che ci ha comandato di celebrare questi misteri. Egli, nella notte in cui veniva tradito, prese il pane, ti rese grazie con la preghiera di benedizione, lo spezzò, lo diede ai suoi discepoli e disse «Prendete e mangiatene tutti, questo è il mio corpo offerto in sacrificio per voi». Allo stesso modo, dopo aver cenato, prese il calice, ti rese grazie con la preghiera di benedizione, lo diede ai suoi discepoli e disse, prendete e bevetene tutti, questo è il calice del mio sangue per la nuova ed eterna alleanza versato per voi e per tutti in remissione dei peccati. Fate questo in memoria di me. Mistero della fede.
celebrando il memoriale della passione redentrice del Tuo Figlio, della Sua mirabile risurrezione e ascensione al cielo, nell'attesa della Sua venuta nella gloria, Ti offriamo, oh Padre, in rendimento di grazie, questo sacrificio vivo e santo. Guarda con amore e riconosci nell'offerta della Tua Chiesa la vittima immolata per la nostra redenzione. E a noi, che ci nutriamo del corpo e del sangue del Tuo Figlio, dona la pienezza dello Spirito Santo, perché diventiamo in Cristo un solo corpo e un solo Spirito. Lo Spirito Santo faccia di noi un'offerta perenne a te gradita, perché possiamo ottenere il regno promesso con i tuoi eletti, con la Beata Maria, Vergine e Madre di Dio, San Giuseppe suo Sposo, i tuoi Santi Apostoli, i gloriosi Martiri e tutti i Santi nostri intercessori presso di te. Ti preghiamo, o oh Padre, questo sacrificio della nostra riconciliazione doni pace e salvezza al mondo intero. Conferma nella fede e nell'amore la Tua Chiesa pellegrina sulla terra, il Tuo servo e nostro Papa Francesco, l'Ordine Episcopale, i presbiteri, i diaconi e il popolo che Tu hai redento. Ascolta la preghiera di questa famiglia che hai convocato alla Tua presenza. Ricongiungi a Te, Padre misericordioso, tutti i Tuoi figli ovunque dispersi. Accogli nel Tuo regno i nostri fratelli e sorelle defunti e tutti coloro che in pace con Te hanno lasciato questo mondo. Concedi anche a noi di ritrovarci insieme a godere per sempre della Tua gloria, in Cristo nostro Signore, per mezzo del quale Tuo Dio doni al mondo ogni bene. Per Cristo, con Cristo e in Cristo, a Te Dio Padre Onnipotente, Nell'unità dello Spirito Santo, ogni onore e gloria per tutti i secoli dei secoli. This is the Palm Sunday Mass coming to you from live from Vatican, St. Peter's Square. And now we are being invited to pray the Our Father. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from every any distra or distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, 
and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. In Cristo che ci ha resi tutti fratelli con la sua croce, scambiatevi il dono della pace. And now we are invited to share a sign of peace. Uh, wherever you are, you can extend a hand or make a gesture of peace to the person that is next to you. In the meantime, the priests and deacons are filing and taking up their posts are in readiness to distribute Holy Communion at the right time. They are fanning out across the square here in St. Peter's of the Vatican, St. Peter's Square of the Vatican. Agnus Dei, Lamb of God. There are 325 priests uh, concelebrating at this Mass. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should come, you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. So just in case you join us when the Eucharistic celebration had already started, this is a live broadcast of the Liturgy of Palm Sunday of the Passion of Our Lord, presided by the Holy Father Pope Francis here in the Vatican St. Peter's Square. Those of us currently watching TV on social media or listening to this Mass, you will see that we are now at Holy Communion time and various people are receiving uh, the Eucharist. Those of you who are watching and listening, we obviously do not have the opportunity to receive physically the Eucharist, but we can receive our Lord Jesus Christ spiritually by praying. Oh Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I am now unable to receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart and never, never Permit me to be separated from you. Amen. In the meantime, the choir is singing the communion antiphon. Father, if this chalice cannot be passed, Father, if this chalice cannot pass without my drinking it, your will be done. 
This is a passage from Matthew chapter 26. So Palm Sunday marks the start of the Holy Week. We did say at the beginning of this Eucharist. From the humble yet triumphant entry into Jerusalem to our standing together at the foot of the cross at on Good Friday. During this week, the Universal Church lives the Easter mystery of Jesus suffering, death, and resurrection. God became man. He took on the nature of humankind so that we too may become like God.
So we take a moment of, of silence to pray after Holy Communion and meditate on the events of today. It is sometimes said that the crucifixion of Jesus, there were three crosses, the cross of despair on which hung the unrepentant thief, and then there was the cross of hope, the cross of the good thief who was suffering shame and pain was able to see and recognize the Savior, Jesus Christ. And of course, finally, there was the cross of salvation on which Jesus Christ himself was hanging. It is the saving cross. As we slowly come to at the conclusion of this Eucharistic celebration, I'm sure you'll agree with me that it is has been a solemn celebration, beautiful indeed, led by the singing of the Sistine Chapel Choir. And remember, after immediately after the final prayer, we yeah. will go into the Angelus. Padre, che ci hai nutriti con i tuoi santi doni e con la morte del tuo figlio ci fai sperare nei beni in cui crediamo, fa che per la sua resurrezione possiamo giungere alla meta della nostra vita. Nourished with these sacred gifts, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that just as though uh, through the death of your son you have brought us to hope for what we believe, so by his resurrection, lead us to where you call. The Holy Father, making an uh, he says that he would like to express his closeness. A young woman and an adolescent member of a model community of peace in San Jose de Apartado in Colombia were killed. Assuring also victims in Russia who are mourning a terrorist attack in Moscow. Uh, about 133 people were killed at a seat hall concert. The Lord has told us, do not kill. Greetings to all our pilgrims in Roma and those coming from all over the world. Uh, the Holy Father now greeting a delegation, a representative, the representatives from the city of San Remo. For, for about four centuries, this community has been giving an offering to the Holy See or the Vatican on Palm Sunday. I'm sure you saw those specially braided palms. They are the ones that have been making these braided palms. Now, let us open our hearts. Only the Lord can liberate us from hate. He is merciful and he pardons all sins. Let us pray for all brothers and sisters who are suffering as a result of war. In a special way, I think in a very special way, the martyred people of Ukraine, where many people find themselves without electricity out as a result of an attack on electrical institutions and creating suffering and probably creating a risk of a catastrophe. Please do not, please do not forget the martyred people of Ukraine. I think of the young people 
and many others were suffering as a result of war. And now we turn to our lady, the Blessed Virgin Mary, during this week until we arrive at the joy of the resurrection. The Holy Father making a few appeals there, just as he now leads us into the Angelus prayer. E cancilla Domini. Ave Maria, grazia plena, Dominus Tecum. Benedicta tu mulieri, vus e benedicto, frutto venti tu Iesu. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostre, Amen. E verbo un caro factum est. Et abitari di nobis. Ave Maria, grazia plena, Dominus Tecum. Benedicta tu mulieri, vus e benedicto, frutto venti tu Iesu. Ora per noi, Santa Dei Genetrix. Grazie a Tua, anche su Modomine, menti vos nostri si infunde. Piange l'annunziante, Cristi figli Tua, incarnazione con noi. Per passione meglio sa la croce, nella resurrezione e gloria in perducamo. Per un in Cristo, un domino un nostro. Amen. Gloria a Patri, et Figlio, et Spirito e Santo. Gloria a Patria, et Figlio, et Spirito, e Santo. Si cotera di un principio, et nunc et sempre, et in secula, secula romana. Gloria a Patria, et Figlio, et Spirito, e Santo. Si cotera di un principio, et nunc et sempre, et in secula, secula romana. Amen. Profideli vos defuntis, requiem eternam donais, Domine. E luz perpetua luce a te. Requiescant in pace. So that's the Angelus prayer, and now we prepare to receive a blessing from the Holy Father. Domino Fabisco. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Look, we pray, O Lord, on your family, for whom our Lord Jesus Christ did not hesitate to be delivered in the hands of those of the wicked and submit to the agony of the cross, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Et filius, et Spiritus Sanctus, descenda super vos et mania et semper. Amen. There it is. So we have received the blessing from the Holy Father at the end of the Angelus and also at the end of this Palm Sunday Mass. As the, we receive a dismissal there from the deacon concluding this solemn celebration here in St. Peter's Basilica, uh, St. Peter's Square, rather. And just before the Angelus, the Holy Father made a few appeals. He made an appeal, or rather he shared his closeness with a community in Colombia. There is a model community of peace there, and they were attacked recently, resulting in the death of a young man, woman and an adolescent and also expressing his closeness to the people of Russia as a result of the terrorist attack in Moscow, which killed 133 people. Uh, the Holy Father also thanking uh, some representatives from the city of San Remo here in Italy. This city has for four centuries provided those specially braided palms that you saw there in the celebration of the Eucharist. You can see one right there. And he thanked them in a very special way. My name is Father Paul Samasuma and with these images we now come to the end of the live broadcast of Palm Sunday Liturgy and recitation of the Angelus. Remember 
Starting Thursday, we also have a number of Holy Week live broadcasts. You will find more details on our website, vaticannews.va. Thank you to all our viewers from the Eurovision and Mondovision channels. Thank you to all who have made this transmission possible from the Vatican to all across the world. A very special thank you to our official radio and partner broadcasters, WWTN Salt and Light TV, Catholic Faith Network in America, Catholic TV, Shalom World Television Network USA, Shalom TV India, and Sunday Shalom Uganda Catholic TV at Madashan TV, and our radio listeners of Luminous Radio. On behalf of Vatican Media, we wish you all a blessed and prayerful Holy Week. Praise be Jesus, Laudetu Jesus Christus.